Namaste everyone. Thank you for joining in the second part of this video where we are discussing the placement of Venus in the Navamsha chart or the D9 chart. And as we all know, Venus is the Karaka of the D9 chart. And because of that, the placement of Venus becomes really, really important when it comes to understanding your marriage as well as your relationships in the Navamsha chart. Okay. So in the first part of this video, we covered the first six houses regarding the placement of Venus in the D9 chart. And in today's video, we'll be covering the remaining houses of the same. But then before we go into the meat of the topic, kindly subscribe to the channel, like the content if you find it useful, and please share it with your friends and family if you think they will benefit from this knowledge. Okay, so... If uh, Venus goes into the seventh house of the Navamsha chart, that placement signifies a deep longing for partnership, commitment, and sexual experiences. And uh, these individuals, they place great importance on, uh, you know, the sexual part, the commitment part, as well as the partnership part or the partnership aspects of life. And uh, their spouse may possess a darker complexion and uh, they excel at matters of diplomacy. And you'll always find these people, <clears throat> you know, seeking to balance and compromise for a harmonious married life, okay? And generally, it's good that the, it's good if the seventh house of D9 is empty because then, you know, the graha which occupies the seventh house of D9 completely eclipses your life, okay? So if you have this placement, if Venus goes into the seventh house of D9, then the issues or the matters related to relationship as well as marriage are going to completely occupy your life, okay? So if you have this placement, you will naturally attract people into your life, but then the health of your spouse may be prone to imbalances. And accumulation of wealth often occurs through the spouse. And after marriage, this these people, they will find themselves acquiring a sense of devotion and dedication towards their partners, okay? What if Venus goes into the 8th house of the Navamsha chart? In that case, for these individuals, you know, marriage becomes a very transformative force that drastically alters the course of their lives. Okay, And uh, hidden treasures and opportunities may manifest after marriage. And these people may find themselves attracting a visually stunning and creatively inclined spouse. Okay, So recognition and fame are likely to increase, especially in fields related to media and communication. Okay, and uh, most often than not, for these people, multiple sexual encounters without any significant commitment may punctuate their life's journey. Okay, if Venus goes into the ninth house of the Navamsha chart, then it indicates a likelihood of marriage occurring later on in life, you know, maybe after the 30s. And uh, the spouse of these people, they are like that, that spouse is likely to have a strong inclination towards traveling and exploring new places okay however uh, this person or people having this placement may often find themselves at the position where they have to compulsorily offer financial support to the spouse's family okay and uh, sometimes remember ninth house is the house of long distance travels so this placement can uh, result in a diminished sexual life due to the frequent travel plans of the couple okay However, as your wealth tends to increase, there is going to be an increased love for luxury and indulgence that becomes very prominent with the passage of time, especially after marriage. Okay. Now, what if Venus comes into the 10th house of D9? In that case, Venus Dasha is going to bring you a lot and lot of wealth and luxuries unless and until Venus is afflicted. Okay. And uh, if Venus is placed in the 10th house of your D9 chart, then your reputation and social standing is going to receive a significant boost through marriage. Okay. The, you know, your spouse may have a strong desire for professional success, which in turn can inspire a sense of dedication and devotion to work after marriage. Okay. And as I said, uh, this placement is going to bring overwhelming luxuries and pleasures into your life after your marriage. And uh, you don't have to worry if Venus Dasha has passed during the Anta Dashas also. It's going to bring you a lot of wealth and luxuries. Okay. And uh, the flip side, on the flip side of this placement, you know, your interest in religion may diminish 
and there is a possible separation from your in-laws after the marriage okay especially from father figures right and uh, remember that communication is going to play a crucial role and you may find yourself involved in the media industry okay so for this placement a uh, romantic inclination is a very very defining characteristic okay now if venus goes into the 11th house of d9 so it promises the fulfillment of desires after marriage okay but then if you have malefic planets along with this venus then uh, that can create opposition to your marriage okay so these people they will possess a strong desire for matrimony and may experience a decreased interest in work or serving others after marriage okay and there is also a potential for rebellion against authorities and after marriage these people they may forge you know friendships with individuals from foreign countries who provide support and assistance in fulfilling their desires that leads to often surpassing the support that they receive from their own culture okay that <clears throat> from their own culture okay and additionally uh, for these people the elder sister may play a very significant role in helping them achieve their aspirations so often these people end up building or buying up a beautiful house okay especially if venus is in a debilitated state okay now if venus goes into the 12th house of the navamsha chart then these people they are likely to have a spouse who displays very strong devotion and spirituality okay and uh, sometimes the unbounded nature of their union can be frustrating okay so i've seen people having this placement their spouse struggle with you know their spouse can struggle with insomnia or may have a tendency to stay up late okay and uh, these people they may have an inclination for wasteful spending because they have a very unique perspective and at times individuals with this placement may not they may not place a very significant emphasis on the appearance and they may have a sweet tooth that could imp that could uh, impact your health particularly if venus is afflicted by malefic planets okay remember that jupiter is often you know taken as the reason why you have diabetes but actually it is venus who causes diabetes because venus rules your pancreas in medical astrology okay and uh, these people they have a deep love for foreign countries and a passion for traveling and this becomes a characteristic of their lives okay and uh, they are often found to possess poetic sensibilities and creative expressions that are going to further enhance their charm and allure okay so that's it from me in this video series on venus and the navamsha please watch the first part of this video series if you find yourself you know if you find yourself being lost from this second part you'll get a better perspective all right so thank you so much for watching that's it from me in this video i'll see you soon in yet another video on the navamsha chat namaste om guru vinamaha